大家好，我是 Eddie， 欢迎来到你好汉语。Hi guys, this is Eddie. Welcome back to my channel. Today's lesson is a grammar point from HSK Level Four textbook Lesson Two. We are going to learn how to use 尽管 in today's lesson. First of all, I have to say for this phrase, there is one mistake even、uh, most of Chinese people will make in daily life. That's the pronunciation of the first word, 尽 Um, so in daily life, people always pronounce this as the fourth tone. It becomes 尽管尽管 because 尽 or 尽 is a polyphone, so it has two pronunciations. So we mistakenly think that in this phrase, it is also the fourth tone. So we tend to say 尽管 but it's wrong because according to the、um, you know dictionary, because Dictionary is like more official, authoritative. So it says it should be the third tone. The pronunciation correct one should be, 尽尽管尽管 So because there are two third tones in a row, you have to change the first one uh to uh to second tone, which makes it become 尽尽管尽管 So 尽管 is the correct pronunciation. But I gotta be honest with you. In daily life, I'm not going to say that because even if it's the correct pronunciation, it just makes me feel weird. So I am going to pronounce in a wrong way. I would say fourth tone, 尽管尽管 And you really will notice people. You know, if you hear carefully, a lot of people will say 尽管 even though it's wrong. Okay, get back to our topic today. 尽管 is a phrase which means although. In English, if you want to use although, although will be in the first clause of a complex sentence, correct? So there will be two clauses. The first one in the beginning, you say although.、Uh, I think the difference between Chinese and English when it comes to although is that in Chinese we have to say but in the second clause. You know what I mean? Because in English, you you don't say although but. You only say although. In Chinese, actually, you have to say although something but something to make the sentence sound more natural. If you drop but this concept, actually, it sounds a little unnat unnatural、um, in our ears. Even though it will make sense to us because you are a foreigner, but you know, as a native speaker,、um, we say although something but something. All right, just like the book tells us, there are four. Transition words we can use. Um, they are 但是可是却 and 还是 I would say 但是 and 可是 are very similar. They both mean but. However, the third word 却 also means but. I would say 却 is a formal way to say but, while 可是 and 但是 sounds um less formal. And last word is 还是还是 To me, the literal translation, the best translation is still. So sometimes people say 但还是 So people say 但 and 还是 together. Um, you can translate it as but still. If somebody say but I still blah blah, they will say 但还是 So you will notice that people can um they use these transition words together sometimes. And one thing I forgot to mention in the beginning of this lesson is the synonym word of 尽管 is 虽然 If you say 虽然 it means 尽管 so they are similar. Okay, guys, you know our tradition is how is our lesson complete if we don't give you example sentences? Here we go. Now we have three example sentences. We're gonna study them one by one. First up. 尽管已经毕业这么多年，我们还是经常联系的。尽管已经毕业这么多年，我们还是经常联系的。Although we have graduated for this many years, we still often keep in touch. 尽管 means although， 已经。Already, 毕业 graduate. 这么 means so or that or this. 多 means many. 年 year. 
woman, we, 还是 That's the key word of today's lesson, meaning still. 经常 often or usually, 联系 contact or keep in touch. 的 the last word is, it's okay to drop it. It's up to you. 尽管已经毕业这么多年，我们还是经常联系的。Second sentence. 男朋友送给我的这份礼物，尽管不贵。但却让我非常感动。男朋友送给我的这份礼物，尽管不贵，但却让我非常感动。Although the gift which was given by my boyfriend is not expensive, but it made me feel touched. 男朋友 means boyfriend. 送给 Together is a phrase means give something as a gift for free, usually as a gift. Song alone has different meanings. For example, like delivering, like deliver food, deliver mail,、uh, or send, or give, right? And gay. This word also means give. So what about song and gay together? Song gay. That means give somebody a gift. 这份 means this. Fen is a measure word for gift. It's a very formal measure word for gift. You can say 这个礼物 So 这份 means 这个 but only more formal. 礼物 means a gift or a present. Now, how do we understand this part、um, in a grammatical way? You know, some students might be confused. Don't worry, I will break it down for you. Now let's try to find the most important subject in the first class. What is it? It is 这份礼物 right? Or 礼物 because the subject of the first class is this gift or gift. So what about the long phrases before 这份礼物 which is 男朋友送给我的 What does it mean? So consider it as an adjective, a very long adjective to describe this gift, right? In English, it is called a clause, like this gift which was given by my boy boyfriend. That's how you say it. You put it after this gift. However, in Chinese, it doesn't happen. Even it's a long adjective, and the adjective is like a long sentence. We put it in front of the subject. That's why you see, 男朋友送给我的 this part is like was given by my boyfriend, and then we say 这份礼物 this gift. Now moving on to the next phrase, 尽管 means although, 不贵 means not expensive, 贵 means expensive. Now the first class, let's read again. And while you are reading, please think about my explanation just now. Try to understand the structure, the grammar of the first clause. Okay, here we go. 男朋友送给我的这份礼物尽管不贵 Although this gift was sent by my boyfriend, was not expensive, 但却让我非常感动 The second clause. 但 means but, 却 also means but. So when you say 但却 together, it still means but. You know that's、uh, something I told you just now. Today we learned four transition words you can put at the second clause, right? Which are 但是可是却还是 I just told you that sometimes people connect two of them together, and it it is okay. So that's why you see 但 And "che" are together. "Rang" means to make or to let. "Fei chang" is a degree word, means very. "Gan dong" means touching or moving. So basically, the sentence means, "But it made me very touched. Made me feel very moved." Now, some students might ask, "Can I put?" 尽管 in the second sentence at the beginning, because in the second sentence, 尽管 is in the middle, right? Absolutely, you can put it in the beginning, and I can read it for you. 尽管男朋友送给我的这份礼物不贵 that also one hundred percent works. 
Now moving on to the last sentence. 叔叔最大的爱好就是打篮球。大学时，他还多次参加校篮球比赛。尽管现在工作很忙，可到了周末，他还是会跟朋友去打球。叔叔最大的爱好就是打篮球。大学时，他还多次参加校篮球比赛。尽管现在工作很忙，可到了周末，他还是会跟朋友去打球。Uncle's biggest hobby is to play basketball. At the time of college, he also many times participated in the school basketball matches. Although now the work is busy, however. When weekend comes, he still will play basketball with friends. Let's break down the sentence. 叔叔最大的爱好 uncle's biggest hobby. 最大的 is superlative, means biggest. 爱好 that's hobby. 就 means exactly. That's like an emphasis word here. That means uncle's biggest hobby exactly is to play basketball. Okay, 打篮球 play basketball. In Chinese language, when we talk about sports played by hands, we always say hit or to beat. Literally, we say 打 but not to play, because in Chinese, play is 玩 but for sports with hands, we say 打 Moving on to the next sentence, 大学时 at the time of college, 他还 He also, high means also, 多次 many times, 参加 attend or participate in 校篮球 school basketball 比赛 match or competition. Now the next sentence, 尽管 although 现在 now 工作 job work 很忙 busy. 可 meaning 可是 means but 到了到 means to arrive to reach or to come. So 到了周末 means weekend comes. 他还是 he still. So 还是 is the key word in today's lesson meaning still. 会 means will or would. 跟朋友 means with friends. 跟 means 和 so 和 and 跟 are interchangeable means with here 跟朋友去打篮球 to play basketball. Okay, moving on to our practice of today, we have three unfinished sentences. Let's check the answers. Number one, 他尽管写的比较慢 although he writes slowly. Or writes comparatively slowly. 比较 means comparatively. Well, my version of answer would be, 但是字写的很漂亮。但是字写的很漂亮。But his characters are beautiful. You know, although he writes slowly, but his characters look beautiful. Second sentence, 你们俩才认识。不到一个月吧。You guys have met each other for only less than a month, correct? That's the translation. Well, my version of answer is: 虽然我们认识不久，但我们已经是很好的朋友。Although we haven't met very long, but we are already very good friends. Sentence number three. 你对这儿的生活习惯了吗 ？Are you used to the life here? 习惯 means be used to something. And my version of answer is: 尽管我只来了一星期，但是我已经习惯了。Although I've only been here for one week, but I'm already used to it. All right, everybody. That sums up today's lesson. I hope you find this lesson useful. You know, if you have more questions, leave comments down below. 
I will take some time to read comments and resolve your confusions. 好了，今天我们的课就上到这里，我们下次再见吧，拜拜。